Hello, I was recently talking with a friend of mine and they uh, shared something with them that they thought that I needed to share with you. Uh, I'd encourage you to share this with your friends. Apparently it, it's meant a lot to the people that's heard it. And um, what, I, what they asked me, they says, how do you, how do you know that God's gonna answer a prayer? How, how can you make sure that a prayer is, is answered? Uh, some of you are going to misunderstand what I'm telling you, so you're going to have to watch this a couple of times and don't try to put words in my mouth, something that I did not say. But there is a prayer that will work. I've never heard of it not working. And, um, and it should surely work for you and everyone you know as long as you share this with people and do what you're instructed to do. And very often my friends in church say, you know, I asked them, I said, you know, are you, are you praying for anyone? And they'll say, invariably they'll say, oh yes, because that's the right thing they, they think they're supposed to say is that they're praying for someone. And I ask them, well, does that person know that you're praying for them? And on occasion they'll say, well, well yeah, I, I guess they do, or yeah, they do, or they probably assume that I'm praying for them. And I said, well, I've got a prayer that will work all the time for anyone everywhere you go. And this is the way it goes. You go to someone and say, Bob, you know I'm praying for you, right? I mean, if, call them by their own name. If it's not Bob, don't call them Bob because I said, but call them by the name say, you know, and go to them and say, look, son, you know I'm praying for you, right? And typically they'll go, mm, yeah. But do, my question for you is, do you know what I'm praying for? And they may or may not know. So then say, look, Here's what I want to do. I want to tell you what I'm praying for you so that when it arrives, when you see it, that you know where it comes from so that I'm not the only one that knows where the blessing comes from. So Bob, John, Betty, Sue, whatever your name is, this is what I'm praying for you. I want you to know that I am praying for the undeniable, manifest power and presence of the Lord in your life. So when you see it, I want you to recognize the undeniable, manifest power and presence in your life. The thing is, what that does, it raises their expectation, which is actually faith in motion. What happens is they go away either thinking you're a kook or don't. It doesn't matter. They probably think you're kooky anyway. But tell them what you're praying because then they start wondering. Because faith is, is the, the presence of things unseen. Now they're wondering what is the manifest power and presence. Don't pray for, tell them you're praying for their salvation. Don't say they're praying for a new car. None of that stuff. It's most of what people pray for is not biblical, it's not scriptural, but the Lord does want to show up in their life. And the Holy Spirit is there to do the conviction, not you. Tell him you're praying for the manifest. The undeniable means that they're going to know it. Manifest is present, it's right there in their face. Power and presence. Now for some people it's going to be a great shaking. It's going to be an earthquake or some monumental something. Some of them it's going to be just a still, soft voice. It's going to be just a, a something subtle, a, just very subtle. But with the, you have opened the door. Their expectation and faith has been raised to a level that the Lord can approach them as He wants to. And you just open the door and have them expecting it. Every time that's ever been done that I know of, the person comes back and says, what did you pray again? Because something happened. And then, if you tell them, I'm going to continue to pray for the undeniable, manifest power and presence of the Lord in your life. And then when they come back and go, I can't explain it. They said, it's undeniable. I don't know what it was. It's manifest. It's power, presence. If you pray that, you increase their expectation. They begin to seek and wonder. And you've done your job. The flip side of that is if you're praying in, in secret, they could get blessed, they could win a million dollars, whatever kind of silly stuff you might be praying for them, and who gets the credit? 
who knows? It's just, hey, look, you know, you were while you were at church, I was over there, and look what happened to me. I won a lottery. You know, and, and you know, well, well, tell them you're praying. But don't tell them you're praying for the lottery. That's stupid. But, you know, people do that. Yeah. Pray for the undeniable manifest power and presence in their life. And it'll happen. It'll happen every time. Guaranteed. If it doesn't, come back and leave a comment. If it does, leave a comment. But what you have to do is raise their expectation for what you're doing, praying into their life. It's powerful. Powerful beyond imagination. Take this video. Share it with people. Tell them about it. Because as they begin to do it, it will begin to happen. It's why, why I got you here. Why not pray that for me so that the undeniable manifest power and presence shows up in my life? Because everything here is not perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. But it could be better. If you'll pray for me, I'll pray for you. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you on the next video. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, buddy. Come here.